Welcome back. We're going to continue playing uh, Knights, where we picked up. Uh, we're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Yesterday we had um, played all the pawn, rook, bishop levels. Uh, today, I assume we're going to play the queen and the king levels. And note that these boards are larger and presumably are more challenging. <laughs> Starting with this one. This one looks uh, pretty epic. Oh, thank goodness. There is the symmetrical square over here. But, um... Why do I sense that this is not as impossible as it looks? Okay, let's get this out of the corner. Because if we're going to make any progress, we have to start somewhere. Um, so now what? Should you do likewise um, with the other corner? Um, exchange these knights. And what do we do with our remaining knights? Surely we just do this, right? Well, that looked more challenging than it ended up being. Next move. Um, so which knight is the most stuck? I think this one, and conversely this one. Which in turn means this has to move out of the way, and this has to move out of the way, so that can get into the corner, and this can enter the corner. Um, this knight wants to go somewhere, but this has to move first, so this can walk in. Uh, likewise, we do this, and I suppose, um, oh, so the challenging aspect here is that to get to this destination, B1, I'm going to have to go through C3. Um, so this isn't going to be just a walk in the park. There is going to be a little bit of maneuvering that has to go on here. Uh, something like this. And then we do the symmetry of that, which is this knight. Um, well, this goes into the corner. This knight uh, deflects through there. And now we just have the center square to deal with. Um, which can be met easily enough this way. And we do the same thing over here. There's probably a more efficient solution. Oh, hey, check that out. Do the Yellow Knights move? They do move, they have no destination. That's cool. I hope they're not stuck once they step on a destination square, because that would be sad. Um, Alright, so we'll just move the yellow knights out of the way and send the blue knights to their destinations. That was cool. Ooh, this is getting more challenging. Um, yeah, that's a lot of knights in the way. Like, a lot of a lot of knights. Are there any squares that are difficult to reach? No, not really. So by randomly shuffling all the knights, I'm sure I could get it. Um, I mean, let's get these knights out of the way first, optically. And then maybe that'll help. It's probably unnecessary to do what I just did, but um, I'd like to think it might simplify what's going to happen next. Um, on the other hand, this knight seems a little out of place. Um, so if I just like throw this guy over here and this one over there, this might help me a little bit more. Where I can just have these knights exchange locations, and then... Um, hmm. Now this... well... Okay, whatever. We're not aiming for an elegant solution anymore. Elegance has completely gone out the window at this point. Um, 
All right, and now do a little W maneuver. Oh, both knights can't do the same W maneuver, though. Um, these are a W away from each other, but that's not something that both knights can do. Uh, let's move this one. This is in the way. Can I move it without getting in the way of anything? Uh, maybe. We'll find out. Um, Alright, so we'll start along the W. And then this goes back. Yeah, I did not get out of the way adequately. Um, so put it over there. And then it's still in the way. Uh, and then we go. There we go. Alright, so this is now more puzzle solving and less of random maneuvering. I guess we're still in the A set, but um, we're in A5. I'm pretty sure I could still get the A puzzles by randomly maneuvering the pieces, but why do that? Um, so, the obvious solution is to move this so that the Red Knight can step over, which I'm sure is what the game is counting on my doing. So let's try to find another option. Um, this could move, if that could move, if one of these could move. Well, we'll do the obvious. Um, it's probably going to bite us. Um, so... Wait. Yeah, let's put that there. And then we'll do the obvious this way. And, um, you know, when there's wailing and gnashing of teeth and such, then we'll start crying. But not until then. All right, so, so I need to get a knight into this corner. Um, here, let's back this knight out. Put this knight over there. Um, this can go here. All right. Um, well, that looks close. Oh, well, actually, that's very close, isn't it? Uh, if I could just... <laughs> untangle this just a little bit more, I'd be fine. So here's how we untangle it. Um, we give this knight access to that square. And then... I had a plan. Where was my plan? Somehow I was going to use that square. Um... That's embarrassing. I had this beautiful, brilliant maneuver planned out, and now I forgot where it was. Maybe I got these two squares confused. Well, um... Okay, we'll move this out of the way and then try moving this around. Oh, check that out. That works. All right, B1. Um, how do I get the most knights the closest to the uh, solution as early as possible? Well, I guess identify what squares... There are no uh, squares that have only one entry point. Um, so that's been identified. Which actually makes it more difficult to identify the candidate moves here, because everything's a candidate move. As long as nothing's provably closer to the goal than any other uh, move, then uh, all candidate moves are viable. So, I want to skip the Red Knight over here, but um, only if that actually brings me closer to the solution. 
Um, so I've got three. Yeah, okay, we'll do this. It can't be that bad, right? Um, then I want to move this red knight around so that. Um, oops, not there. So that this blue knight can hop in here. Um, I also like to get the red knight over here. Step, step. But, well, I guess this gets closer. And we have to move this into the corner. And we're slightly closer to an answer, but not really. Um, I mean, it looks pretty close, but the last part's always the most difficult. Perhaps I shouldn't have sa uh, saved the most difficult part for last. So how do I get a knight? Man. On a normal chessboard, this a5 and c3 would be uh, four moves away. And this uh, d5 and c2 would be four moves away. Just on a normal chessboard. On this kind of chessboard, it's probably more than four. Um, just gonna put a wild guess out there. Um, well, no, this one can one, two, and then if it could get through the corner, three, four, it would be right there. Um, it can't get through the corner because this other knight, like this whole knot is in the way. This is only, there's only one way out of that corner, so we'll go this way. Um, and this has no destination now. It has to go here, but this knight's trapped by that knight. This knight oh, can step into this corner, allowing this knight to move into the corner, allowing this to get ever so slightly closer to that destination. That's one big knot, where all the knights just follow each other around. Okay, and then this one would like to move. So, I guess this is only the B set of puzzles. Um, I guess once we get to C, that's when you really have to calculate and stop just moving. Here, you're still able to move around the pieces um, and eventually reach an answer. Okay, are there any squares that have only one entry point? Yes, this corner. So I want to solve this corner first. Are there any other points like that? The other opposite corner. So these are the two corners I want to solve first, and then I'll get the rest of the puzzle. Um, well, that was the easy part. The hard part's actually solving it. So let's move this to move that. So that, um, how do I see this is, oh, right, this is moving out of the corner, so this could step in, so this could step, uh, this has got to get out of the corner, so this can clear there, so the blue knight ear can step in. Okay. Now we need the blue knight to occupy the other corner. How do we get there? Um... I like this music. It's in some way calming. So one, two, three, four would get me there. That's the fastest way to get there. This knight has to be the one getting to this corner, at least. That looks the simplest. Oh no, I guess this knight could also go to the corner. Let's do that. Um, let's move this out of the way. This out of the way and then figure out how to get this red knight relocated. <laughs> uh, well, this has to step out this way, so this is not getting in anybody's way. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, these little hints are actually a little too helpful at this phase of the game. Um, but maybe I shouldn't complain so loudly. Maybe that's perfectly fine. Maybe that just helps make the game more enjoyable. 
All right, so we don't have to put this blue knight here, but let's do it because it's right next to the goal. Um, just in case that somehow brings us closer and not farther away. Uh, but to get to this goal, we have to come from this square. To get to this square, um, well, there's a variety of ways we can get there, but the easiest route is this knight going through the blue square to get there. Oh, thank goodness it doesn't lock these in place once they've hit a destination. Um, um, okay, so this will move, so this can move, so this can move out, and this can move back in. And then this can step out of the corner, and this can go in. Now this remaining knight has to just jump around until it hits its destination, but that can't be too hard. Um, so, yeah, this steps over, this steps over, and then this goes through. It's like winding a knot. Um, B3. So, this corner has only one entry point, which is where this knight is at. This corner has only one entry point, again where this knight is at. This knight could go to multiple places, but they're all blockaded at the moment. So, I think I want to solve the two corners on this bottom row first, and then the rest just follows somehow. We'll just make that assumption run with it, and if it's wrong, then have to fix it later. Um, so for this to work, I have to move that out of the way. And the reason I have to move that out of the way is because we need more liberties for uh, these knights to exchange locations, like that. So, I mean, we could plunk this back here and it looks nice, but it's not going to last, is it? Unless this is just a lot easier than it looked at first. Oh wait, I forgot. I have one more knight to place. Um, man, I was feeling a sense of accomplishment there for having solved that instantaneously. And it wasn't so easy. Um, okay, this blue knight's cornered. Um, are there any that have just one entry point? Nope. This knight in the corner's got to get out, that's for sure. So. Well, I'm sorry, no, this spot in the corner has only one entry point. So let's put this piece there. We don't want that piece. Also, this one in the corner has... Um, yeah, we'll just leave that stranded, if that's okay. Uh, actually, this point here has only one entry point, which is the red square, meaning um, we've got to plunk our red knight there, and it's eventually going to go back, but no rush. Haste makes waste. Um, also got to figure out, so this knight's got to get out of the corner. Oh, that's the destination square, so getting it to its destination is no big deal. Um, okay, so what do we got to do here? How is it that um, we're going to get this red knight to where the blue knight used to be? Yeah, and I've tied like the perfect knot here. Um... Is there another way? <laughs> I'm not seeing another way around. All I gotta do is get... Well, okay, so fine. Let's put this back. Maybe this is closer than I thought it is. <sighs> so, this cornered knight has got to go back to the red square. Um, 
ideally I'd want to corner my other red knight on that red square, um, but that doesn't seem feasible. I mean, okay, I could do this. I don't see the point to it. Uh, but I could stick this knight here. But I think that he's, this yellow knight's in the way now. I don't think there's a way to... Let's put this here. There's This all is only one entry point. So we can just put our knights in these useless locations there. I still don't see how to untie this knot. Um, I'm tempted to reset this. Just to randomize it a little bit and give myself a little bit of a greater chance of solving it the second time around. Um, I mean, okay, I could put this there and put this here, but am I really any closer to my goal? This knight's in my way. I could stick this one in the corner, and then this can step over here. Um... And then something like this, maybe? Okay, didn't have to reset that. But I sense when we get to Queen C1, um, then things are going to escalate to a point where it might cease to be fun. So far it's just been a creative challenge, but at some point it's just going to come down to brute force calculating everything. It hasn't come to that yet. I've still been able to like qualitatively discuss these problems. Um, so let's put this knight over here. This one in the corner. I'm underestimating the difficulty of this puzzle because it looks really easy. Um, so, until I just like randomly shuffle these knights about, I won't get really a sense of where the difficulty lies. Um, wait, 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 wait. So, this is the knight I needed moved, so that this blue knight could step over. Okay, that wasn't so difficult. Uh, okay. Does this puzzle have any goals? Uh, they have only a single entry point. I don't think so. Nope. It's got a lot of knights on it, but... Um, I'm not seeing any that have only a single point of entry. So let's just do the naive thing and see just how far this gets us from the true objective. So let's bring this blue knight over through where the red knight is going. Okay, and then, I don't know, shuffle this around, put the red knight over there, put this blue knight here, this one there. Can we get a knight here, please? Okay, that's the wrong color, but that's okay. I mean, optically, things are amazing. We're, like, right next to our goal. Um, oh. Never mind. We actually are right next to the goal. Alright, so this has a knight in the... Both of these have only one entry point right here. No, I'm sorry, this one has two. This could actually go out this way. Um, but yeah, this knight moving is going to be kind of a point of contention for this uh, puzzle. 
So let's get that out of the way. Stuff that into the corner, get this over here so that this knight can go into the corner. Like that. Um, and then, this knight's in the way of a knight reaching this corner. I'm not sure which is the most urgent thing to do next. Hmm. Well, fine, we'll just do a little dance in a square here. Just a little square dance. There we go. Um, this knight's in the way. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, no, you stay there. You're out of everybody's way forever. It's good. Um, all right, and I guess we'll do another uh, diamond rotation thing here. Um, how do we get this knight, or one of these knights, to that corner? Where's this knight going, by the way? Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah, rotating that seems a little tricky. So let's just stick that there. Uh, and then figure out what to do with the rest of this. Does this, have knight, this knight have nowhere to go? Oh, never mind. There we go. Um, yeah, now this is getting crowded. Just can't these just like swap places and these two swap places and just call it a day? Apparently not. Um, okay, so these basically have got to move. It's probably stupid to do it that way. Because, like, now if you do this. None of the knights, other than the ones you just moved, can move. And the well, no, that's untrue. These knights could go there. Are we gonna see a fun little pattern here? How funny would that be? Is this really happening? Uh, how far do I want to go with this? Well, it's too late. Let's. <laughs> And we go back to where we started. Lovely. Um, okay. I guess on the bright side, at least half the knights are where they need to be. It's just getting the other half in place that's the tricky part. Now what? Now what indeed? Well, I guess I could do that and step this over, but that doesn't do any good, did it? Yeah, this just goes back. I mean, I could repeat this as many times as I want. It's not going to help anyone. Unless somehow the corners are just that difficult to get correct. Maybe this is the right way. Okay, well, I did not suspect that, but sure. Okay. This is not so simple either. Not there. 
Oh, I just hemmed this in. That was accidental. Um, I guess I could unwind it this way. That puts us a knight on a useful square. Uh, I'm still hemmed in with some of these, but we're slowly approaching, approaching a sensible state. Um, okay, let's stick this in the corner. So we're here. And I don't know. Um, That's kind of a mess. Kind of a mess. What kind of a mess is it? It's a hot mess. Alright, so... This can't move. Um, I mean, I guess I could stick this there. And that enables, uh, what was it? This to move over here, this to step out, this to go into the corner, and then we get a red knight there, and this knight has nowhere to go. Um, could move this. Where am I going with these knights? Apparently nowhere. Apparently nowhere. Well, let's just keep going in this cycle and see where we end up. Um, so this steps over, this steps in, this steps over. Oh, this can step out, so this could go over here. All right, C5. Again, no clearly defined ex entry or exit points, so... Um, yep, beats me. So beats me. has nowhere to go. Hmm. Alright, let's make this dance a little bit. Oh, this can move so that the red knight can get into the corner. And this red knight can follow. Still, this is quite distant from the actual solution. Um, at some point, this greedy approach is not going to work. Uh, we've occupied the full square there. Um, okay, so... We vacate the corner. Oh, that corner has only one entry point. So, if I could get one of the knights they don't like into that corner, that would help me. So, how do I get there? Okay, so we wrap these around. So this vacates that square that's adjacent to the corner. And then this steps into the corner, giving me a free space to move around the rest of the knights. Um, not sure how much that free space is going to help. Time will tell.
Oh. Does this give me another free space if I just keep dancing back and forth? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Um. Yeah, it's hard to make use of that. Fine, so let's just shuffle that and this and see. Maybe that helps us somehow. Um, like this. Okay. And then what do we do with the rest? Can I move this? I cannot. Can I move this? No. Nope. How about this? No. Not a. They're all stuck. I have created a knot. A knot that nobody can untangle. Um. Oh, never mind. You can actually go this way to free up some space. And now this is still stuck. Um, yeah, I've not done a very good job identifying what's free and what's not. So I need this free space, basically. Alright, so now that I've freed that up, I don't know about this. This seems kind of iffy, but we'll do it. Oh, that backs that into a corner. We can't do that. Well, I guess we can, and then see what it is it takes to remedy that. Um, this knight is trapped. Here, let's play that over. Um... So this can move, this can move. This has nowhere to go. Uh, except for now it has somewhere to go. But... Uh, we're still kind of distant from the answer. Like this knight... Oh, let's do a little... Shuffle this around a square. So that's good. And then move this around the square, freeing that up. D1. Any points that have just one entry or an exit point? Nope. <laughs> Here we're finally getting into difficult territory. Um, but we're getting better at pattern recognition, so... Maybe... We'll have a chance. Um, so let's pursue this in a naive fashion, see how close we can get, and then see what it takes to remedy the problems that arise. Um, where's the red? There's supposed to be, oh, this is on the wrong square. It's like I saw this red knight, but I did not see this square here. I was very confused for a moment. Um, so now we have to get the blue knights uh, to the blue destinations. So something like this and that. Uh, and the final corner. Um, Okay. Congratulations on clearing most of the levels in the Queen level pack. King level pack is now available. And daily levels are unlocked. Well, isn't that fancy? Um, again, there's none that have just a single entry square. Well, save for this guy in the corner. But 
that's a yellow knight, so it can just stay there for all I care. Uh, likewise, this one can hang out in the corner, because I don't... If there's no way out of the corner, then I don't need to get my pieces into that corner. Um... But yeah, I think that's the extent of squares that have a single entry point. The rest... Um, it's just a matter of randomly shuffling stuff. Because it doesn't matter in what order I do things, as long as there's multiple entry and exit points. Unless there's a really complicated knot. And in most cases there isn't. Alright, so let's stick this in the corner, just because... Well, honestly, because we need to move around the other knights, and that's the only way we're able to do so. Um, oh, that's actually pretty cool, too. Yeah, there's... I don't know, there's multiple ways into that square, so I might need to use it. Um... Why did I think this one was going to be free at this point? How do I get this out? I'd like to move... Oh, that's why I moved whatever I moved earlier. Looks like I moved this yellow knight out of the way, and the blue knight to its destination. Well, that's one done. There's more to go, of course. Um... So I have a little W to... I'm sorry, this is a V to get me into there. Um, and then if this could move, I could get my Red Knight over there. Um, maybe. Maybe there's a way to do this. Probably not. Here, let's shuffle this. So I want to get this closer to that corner. Oops, and then this into the corner. Alright, so we're a little bit closer. Um, there's still quite a bit of progress to be made. Let's stick this over there. And now... <laughs> I mean, that gets this knight closer to these squares, but... Um, figuring out where some of these belong is tricky. Oh, I can put this yellow knight into the corner so that my blue knight can reach the destination. Uh, this yellow one's stuck, though, unless I move the red or the blue. So, I've got to unwind this a little bit. So that this can get out, this can get over. Um, again, this can't move unless this moves. This can't move unless this moves. This is why these are the queen stages. Um, because there's a little bit of entanglement going on. Um, now to reach that destination. Uh, one, two, one, two, one. Okay. Now, just have to move this somewhere. So... Let's move this around, and now we gotta move this knight. Oh, but the only way to get into there is through this blue square. Um, that's a problem. Yeah, no, I optimized this in a very inefficient way. Um, so I'm gonna have to untangle this. Well, no. I don't have to entirely take it apart. But I will have to get this yellow knight out of the way. Um, 
so that a red knight can land there. But still, this isn't out of the way. I still need another square. Can you imagine if this game were done with bishops or rooks or something like that, and you could actually see all the straight lines connecting all the points? It would be quite comical compared to um, this geometry we're dealing with, just because it'd be so much simpler. Okay, so... Um, so my point was that I could shuffle this around. Oh, but this can't go anywhere. So I didn't actually untangle that. Um, so this can go back. Yeah, I effed up. Oh well. What can you do? How do you recover from this? I guess you just make random moves or start freeing up parts of the solution to try to get other parts. Or maybe you start by trying this from the beginning. Let's get a red knight there first. How do we get a red knight there? That's going to be my first goal of this puzzle. So we got to move this knight. To move this knight, we've got to move one of these knights. Uh, to move this knight would require moving this. So this moves that out of the way so that we can move these knights like that. And, um, wait, I still can't get a red knight there, can I? Let's get this out. If there is a solution, it will require moving this again. And surely there is, so... We have to find another way to... So this has got to move, so meaning this has got to move. So one of these other knights has got to go somewhere. Let's put it there. So now we move that. We've moved this. And I moved the wrong knight to that square. We need to move this one there so the red knight can get to its destination. Okay, so that's settled. Yeah, I should have identified this first as the one that has only one entry point. Once that's settled, the rest of this just falls into place. Um, so, shame on me for not identifying that earlier. Um, so, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, we got a red knight where it needs to go. Um, red knight number three is... Well, we'll just get some of the pieces to their destinations. Um, it's a blue knight where it needs to be. Uh, I suppose it was beneficial to move a different knight there, wasn't it? Let's just put this here. Then this can step over. Um, then like that. And I had a way to get. Oops. I had a way to get a blue knight to here. Yeah, we move this over. There we go. Um, I guess we could do this. Though I don't see where it gets us. Because unless I move my red knight. Um, I'm not getting closer to my goal. Okay, so... Yeah, my knights are pretty close to where they need to be. This one still can't move. This one can't move. I'd move that, but... I'm not sure that that brings me any closer to the answer. So which one to move next? Ooh. 
which one to move next. I think at this point I have to start tearing apart my solution and rebuilding it. Um, because there's no obvious candidate move there. I mean, we could put this knight there, but I think some of this has got to get untangled. Um, how do I do that? How do I untangle this mess? Here, let's just pretend the corner doesn't matter at all. And that somehow this is closer to the actual solution. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We don't know yet. Um, well, that's funny how, like, these are knights throw away, these are knights throw away, um, as are these. So there's a lot of contention for these squares here. Um, okay, let's move that out of the way. So this can step over, so this can step in. So we might be a little closer, we might be a little farther. It's hard to gauge. Let's get this out of the corner. Uh, move this out of the other Red Knight's way. So something like that. Oh, check that out. Cool. D3. Are there any of these that have only a single entry point? No, because all these squares are on the edges. So there's no obvious knights that we'd want to bury. Um, all right. <laughs> this is where things get well it's confusing already but yeah we have only two free spaces on this whole board two three okay there we go that's one mission accomplished um, let's put this over there, this guy over here, and now, um, okay, that's two, that's three, um, yeah, three. Okay. That's four. And this is where we realize the folly of our ways. That having optimized thus far, um, the only way it can progress is backward. Why? Because um, a lot of these knights aren't able to move anywhere. Even if they wanted to, they couldn't. Well, no, that's not entirely true. This one could go into the corner. This one could follow that. Uh, is there anyone that could follow this path? That uh, I guess this blue knight could. It's where it needs to be, but something's got to move. Um, okay, so we're a little bit closer. Oh, I buried the Red Knight, though. There we go. D4. Um, okay, so this corner here has got to be solved first. So let's get that moved out. And then how do we get a Blue Knight into that corner? 
Is that the only thing that has to be solved first? Or are there other things that are... Nope, just that one is necessarily first. Um, now we just plunk the knights around until we hit the solution, just like we normally do. So, just stumble around in the dark a little bit. Um, okay, this is moved out. We're a little bit closer to that. Oh, this can move around, so this can actually step there. So, now we're three out of six, or three out of five or something. Um, here, let's stick the blue knight here. Oh, but that's in the way of the red knight. Um, hmm. Okay. Shuffle these around a little bit. And now we got one knight to go. Oh no, two to go. Dang. This can't go anywhere. Uh, it wants to go there or here. Um, can this go anywhere still? Oh, hang on. That's the key here. Is <laughs> that there's a little... Um, yeah, these knights are all a knight's throw away from each other. So they block other knights from going in circuits. Um, some of these are going to have to move to get other knights to where they need to go. some of these at some point. Uh, so how do I get to the corner? I guess we move this so this can step in, so this can step in, so this still can't move. Um, And this gets out of the way so that this can get into the corner. So now we just need this out of the way and the red knight to go where that is. Um, well, this feels like going the opposite direction of progress, but... Um, Maybe there's not another way to go? Oh, I just cornered my red knight, but hopefully I can free up some space this way. Um, here, let's corner the yellow knight. So we've exchanged the red and the yellow knights. Hopefully that frees up um, the rest of the pieces to move just a little, to breathe a little bit easier. Oh, this isn't a corner, too. I don't want to corner this red knight. That's what's been troubling me the whole time, is that this corner is bad news for any knight that lands there. Uh, how do I get it out? How do I extract this? Whatever it takes to stay out of that corner will stay out. I can't seem to get another knight into this space. Because that would land, require landing here, but to land here... Um, ...requires some cooperation from the other knights. So... I've temporarily entombed this red knight. Oh man. I 
just want some more liberty here. Yeah, I'm not seeing how to approach this. This is curious. do wonder what's in a wonder ball you know how do I manage to bury one of the knights in the square to get to d1 I need or whatever square you call them this a4 or d1 to get there I have to move around a whole ton of other knights um, again, if this were just like bishops or rooks, it would be pretty clear where where it is in this loop or maze that I need to go. Um, but since everything moves like a knight, uh, the graph is not so easy to draw. Basically, I need to get this out of the way so it's not constantly moving back into this corner. Oh wait, this knight. This one that I'd half buried. Oh, again. It's the same problem. I want to get knights on these three dark squares. But there's no way to get a fourth knight into this circuit. Um... And I, my mouse is double clicking like crazy. And it's deselecting the things I'm trying to select. It makes this a little trickier. So now I've buried that, but now there's no way in. Okay. I mean, maybe what I need to do is switch these knights around so I can bury that. So I've temporarily displaced one of my blue knights. Um, hopefully it's just temporary. Oh man, if I could just switch some of these around, this would be fantastic. Um, just keep them chasing each other. Oh wait, these can switch now. This can go back. No, that's where I started. Did I think this was a switch? I'm not sure. Um, let's move this so we get the red one where it needs to go, and the blue one to where it needs to go, and now we need to get a red one to this corner. Um, well, by dumb luck, am I close enough? Do I have enough liberties? Can this move? No. Does this have anywhere potentially to move? Does this have? No. This is stuck. Could I create a liberty somehow? I don't think so. I think I'm still stuck. could dance around like that. That looks lovely. Not sure how that brings me any closer, but uh, it was quite a distance to travel. I could stick this in here, and then, I don't know, this, but then how do I get this blue knight to where it needs to go? Um... Let's do a little square dance again. Uh, maybe this can... Oh, hey look! That did it! D5. Okay, so thing to note. This little corridor is very narrow. I guess this corner is also pretty narrow. 
Um, huh, but yes, yeah, so this has only one entry point. This has only one entry point. Ideally, I just want to bury all the yellow knights back here. Oh, but there's only three yellow knights. So the whole concept of burying the knights is kind of a moot point, because there's not many to bury. Um, still would be a nice thing to do. Uh, so, how do I do that? This can only move if this can move. This can only move if that moves, which means this has to move somewhere. So we got this out of the corner, ish. It's still not completely out because okay, yellow knight number one is in a corner. Good. Um, can we get another yellow knight into that corner? Requires landing here, which requires a lot of other moves. Is there anything I have to do down here first? No. I just have to get the knights out of the court first. Well, that's kind of a tall order, isn't it? Uh, hang on. Hang on, we almost got this knight out. If that can get out, then there has to be more moves over here. So, okay, it's out now. Um, still, there has to be more moves uh, for these knights. Oh, hey, look, there's the move. These hints are useful. At this point, I do appreciate them. Earlier, they were kind of um, too helpful, but... Now the puzzles are difficult enough that, without the hints, um, you might be in a world of hurt. Um, Alright, so... Next! Just need to shuffle these, and everything will work itself out. Um, somehow. Close enough. So this has to go there. Um, this can go... Whoops. That's no good. Yeah, none of these have to be done first, so... The ordering in which I fill these, um, while it might be important, it's difficult to determine. And of course, these three knights trap this one. So, I've got to move one of these to get this knight out. What that tells me um, is that somehow I've got to get my blue knight stuck here. Or, I don't know. Somehow I've got to get multiple blue knights in a chain like this. And... that my last move is going to be knight to a3. Um, I think. I could be mistaken. Well, this looks distant. Is it? Who knows? At this point, anything could be the solution. Um, there we go. Completed all the levels in the Queen level pack. Not a surprise, given how capable you are. <sighs> oh boy. Do we dare. I think we might start on this today. It would not surprise me if this were, like, insanely difficult. 
Oh my goodness. Um, I've changed my mind. I have changed my mind. This is not happening today. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, let's check out the daily puzzle. They're generated automatically every day. These are levels corresponding to June 25th, 2017. Um, oh god. Even this looks disgusting. Uh, yeah, another. You know, I'm sure some people enjoy Sudoku. I'm sure some people enjoy the daily puzzles. Can we check out, is there a simpler daily puzzle or something? No, there really isn't. So, yeah. I think that's it for nights. Might come back and solve the king level set at some point. But man, that's complicated. So yeah. Um, by the time we solve these, we will understand how knights move. I know some players who are extraordinarily just brilliant at using their knights to do all kinds of clever tricks. To the point where, like, if I get paired with one of these players... I will exchange my bishops for their knights, because I, those knights can just wreak all sorts of havoc. Some people are just absolutely brilliant in seeing all kinds of ways to weave the knights and pawns around each other. Um, so yeah, hope this has been instructive in some way. Um, maybe it was entertaining, who knows. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.